the model. Make sure that your model knows what you're going through. Make sure your model doesn't talk to you throughout the test. You know, again, my, my dad already knew the test. So, you know, just let them know, like, hey, you know what, if I mess up, don't tell me nothing. Don't make signs. Don't try to help me out. Just let me go through the test. You know, because, again, if the inspector walks by and he hears, you know, the client whispering to you, like, hey, you forgot this or you forgot that or, you know, or trying to, like, help you out in certain ways, they'll just kick you out of the test. You know, so, you know, try to avoid any of that stuff by talking to your model, getting them ready for the test. Any questions? No? Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sanitize our hands. When we sanitize our hands, we got to make sure we sanitize. Don't sanitize down here. Make it obvious that you're sanitizing. You know, bring your hands up a little bit. Don't forget to sanitize your wrist area. You have to sanitize down here also, not just your hands. Okay? And what are we going to do first? Drape. Drape, right? Right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab her hair real quick and just bring it up, clear out the neck area because we're going to be working on the neck area. Okay. And this is also, you know, where your fifth clip would come in handy. So we're just going to clamp it up real quick. We're going to grab a cape. Where's my There it is. We're going to grab our cape. We're going to have it ready to go. We're going to grab our which is considered, this is going to be our, consider our draping, right? I like to do the double draping with one towel. We put it so that we don't cover the face area, so it's up there enough. Does it? Yeah. Right, so then we're going to drape it. We're going to put the protective print, protective cape over this. We're going to come around it, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. And then the rest of the towel that's open behind the top, you fold it down. And we have our protect. Okay. That's it. We have a towel that protects the outside, we have a towel that protects the inside, and we have our plastic sheet on top. You see how I didn't struggle with that? I didn't, you know, it's a very easy process. I see a lot of you guys struggling with it. You know, just practice it a little bit. Okay, so then we're ready to go. This will come off. I can put that in my solo towels. Solo the instruments, I mean. Sanitize because I touched my cape. Sanitize your wrist area. How you doing? It'll be like 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're, then we get started on our fern. Josefina's gonna take over this. This is our first time doing a demo, so go fly on her. She gets crazy. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna section the current um, actually fun. Yeah, if you guys have your hand out, you see the section in the back. We have we're gonna do the same thing that we always do in the front, two front sections, and in the back section you're gonna do three part three sections, two sides that are big and one section in the middle. You guys don't take so long when you're sectioning, you know, practice it. You know, you got to be very quick at sectioning. Make sure you guys put it nice and neat. Yeah. Okay. 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 For the whole perm? I think it's 20 minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. How many times are you going to give it? Yeah. Yeah. No importa cómo secciona, mientras se mira bonito. You guys start getting used to it. One thing I notice a lot of you guys do is when you're doing the ends, you guys just leave them hanging everywhere. Start getting used to making it nice and neat and put them inside the, inside the clip. You know, it looks a lot neater, it looks a lot nicer. So I know a lot of you guys... Huh? We asked you last time. Well, I mean, it's right. not going to make, but it does look nicer and neater. You know, and again, you got to put it into your mentality that, hey, you know what, you're trying to keep points. You're trying to make it, you're trying to do the extra. And it's not going to take you long.
Um, no importa. Depende del cabello que van a llevar. You know, si, I mean, la moneda ya debería estar perfectamente cortada y lista para todos los uh, que vamos a hacer. Todos los procedimientos. So, no, no importa si quieren usarlo abierto o cerrado. Mientras le salga bien y mientras tenga las reglas de que el cabello no salga fuera del papel que no esté uh, amontonado en las colas, todo eso es lo que van a mirar. Can you turn her around? Yeah. Just so we can see the back. Please. You know, and again, this took her like two minutes to session out, you know, get into the habit of doing it very fast. You know, I've seen people that don't even finish the procedure because they take like 10 minutes to session out. Do we have to spray the hair down a little, or just the way she is is fine? That's the way she's doing it. Is good. Okay. You know, um, you usually spray it once you have your sections uh, to make it stick to the paper. So you don't want to kind of like double spray it. So that's what a lot of people do. They spray it down once, then they spray it down again. ¿Cuántos bigodis? Deberían de ser de 10 a 12. Todo el mundo lo vea. Uh-oh. Yes, all your perms go in the same direction. You know, don't roll some of them to the front, some of them to the back. Everything should be going towards the, the growth of the hair, which is down, in a downward direction. You know, you're also, you're, uh, the way you're rolling, you make sure that you don't angle it. You know, you don't direct it, subdirect it going down. You know, your direction should always be at a 90 degree angle, maybe a little bit more than that, just to get it nice and tight in there. But if you're gonna be directing it below your 90 degree angle, like at a 45 degree angle, most likely they're gonna be hanging a lot. No, you can put one or two. It's optional. Whatever you prefer to go with. Some people like the two papers, they feel a little bit more, you know, it holds in there a lot more, you know, so. I'm used to doing the, you know, I've always done the barber way, which is on paper. The barber? The barber way. You know, barbers are always used to just the barber. Yeah, the barber. Es que cuando tiene, cuando está disparejo el corte, se necesitan dos, pero cuando está parejo, con uno se necesita. Pero muchos de cosmetología siempre están acostumbrados a poner los dos. Ellos se acostumbran siempre a poner los dos.
you guys, um, also Patsy is recording all the demos that we do. So she has the facial, haircut, and now the perm, right? And she's going to be uploading them on YouTube. So you guys want to look at this like when you're at home just to remind yourself or whatever. You know, just ask her for what it is. And she's going to be uh, nice. Perm rods, you know, they don't have to be super tight. They don't have to be like, you know, on there, like super tight without moving. They have, they're supposed to have a little bit of flexibility, you know, because again, you're putting a very strong chemical that's going to change the whole inside of the structure of the hair. So if you put them too tight, or if your rubber band is, you know, on the on the bottom part of it, most likely the chemical will rip through the hair. You know? So make sure that you don't put the rubber bands. You know, the rubber bands are always supposed to be visible. That's the one. Gracias. 